In this tutorial, we will show you how to set up Apogee One in GarageBand and begin recording quickly. To follow this tutorial, you will need Apogee One, Mac OS 10.6.8 or greater, and GarageBand 11. Open GarageBand. For the purpose of this tutorial, choose Electric Guitar in the new project window. Next, name your song and save it. You should now see GarageBand open with a single track and a default guitar amp. Click on GarageBand, Preferences, and then Audio MIDI. For audio output, make sure one is selected. You will then see a message asking if you really want to change the audio driver. Choose Yes. Do the same for audio input. To experience the full audio resolution of one, select Advanced, and for audio resolution, select Best. Close the Preferences window. Now launch Maestro 2 located in the Applications folder. Here you can select the different input sources of one. With one, you can record one instrument and one microphone of your choice at the same time. For now, select external mic. The instrument input is always on. Make sure that guitar track is highlighted. Click on the amp so that you see its controls below. Click edit. Since instrument is always on input two and microphone is always on input one, Make sure input source is set to mono 2 when using one's instrument input. Set monitor to on. Since we created a guitar track in GarageBand, we will plug a guitar into one's quarter inch instrument cable. One can control input and output level with a single knob. The four icons on the top panel indicate which input or output source you have selected. We have instruments selected so you will see the guitar icon is lit. Now just plug in your headphones or speakers. Adjust your levels. Press record in GarageBand's transport control and begin recording. If you want to record vocals or an acoustic instrument, click on the plus button to add a new track. Choose real instrument. Make sure input source is set to mono one and monitor is set to on. Open Maestro. Change source to internal mic if you wish to use one's built-in microphone. Choose external mic if you're using a dynamic or ribbon microphone. And finally, external 48 volt mic if you're using a condenser microphone. Press record in GarageBand's transport control, adjust levels, and record. 